Welcome back. People with illnesses, addictions and phobias are increasingly turning to hypnotherapy for help. But does it work? Or, oh, Kim, is it all in the mind? Oh, you never know. Well, here to explain how it works is clinical hypnotherapist Rick Collingwood. Thanks for coming in, Rick. Hi, Rick. Thank you. Thank Do you, you support Collingwood, me. by the way? Uh, I stay neutral with it. <laughs> the arguments. Very good idea. <laughs> Does it work? Hypnosis, yeah. hypnotherapy, most definitely. Um, Really, though, it's up to the skill of the hypnotist or the hypnotherapist um, as to what they apply and how they do it. Um, there's actually many things now that are called hypnotherapy that would probably be better termed eyes closed visual relaxation therapy than true hypnosis. So how then do you know, I guess this is part of the problem, how do you know whether you're seeing someone who's great or perhaps not so... Well, the trouble so is that you don't. Um, you've obviously, if someone was looking for a hypnotherapist, they've got to, they should be looking where the person was trained, uh -huh. how much experience they've had, if they're in the yellow pages. The best thing, I think, is to get a referral from somebody else oh, yeah. who's yeah. had hypnosis with a hypnotherapist. I guess because yeah. most of the ones you see are the ones that advertise on television and they go to big, massive barns and, shows, yeah. and, and, yeah. have the, and you know, make people walk around like chickens and yeah, take their gear off like and all that. I mean, what, what are your thoughts? Those guys are the real hypnotists. Yeah. Um, Martin St. James, yeah. for example, Peter Powers, all those people, they use rapid inductions. But look, 20% of, of the general population, you can literally walk up and go, look into my sleep, and they'll go like that. No. Really? Could you? Yeah, 60% will go down to a nice medium level of trance where you'll get a very good degree of change within. And 20% of people will experience trance and they'll sit there and they'll come out of trance and say nothing happened. And you'll say, well, how long was that? And they go about five minutes and you say, look at your watch and an hour's gone by. Hey, so. You've been hypnotised, haven't you? Oh yeah, but I just wanted to be on stage. It was, I was very young. I just wanted to be on stage. I just pretended. So you did pretend, <laughs> did you? Pretend. <laughs> yeah, I pretended. Can you tell when someone's faking? A good hypnotist would be able to yeah. automatically, yes. There's, uh, look, you've got to understand though, a stage hypnotist, he calls for volunteers or sure. she to come up onto a stage um, and then they go through a process of wheedling out what we call somnambulists so it's very easy for a trained hypnotist to tell yeah. whether somebody is going to go into deep trance medium trance or light trance mm, mm. now obviously there's there's many of positive many positive things you can put this to good use to and, and and my friend who's who's a chronic smoker he's been to a hypnotherapist three times to try and stop smoking each time it's it's worked dramatically but only for a short space of time yeah um, but he, he said it did work but it, it just he, I don't know maybe it was more his willpower what, mm. what's the most common cigarette smoking is the yeah. most common uh, weight loss is the next um, and childbirth I hear is is really on the rise well I mean childbirth is on the rise but people are using <laughs> hypnotherapy in childbirth that's correct and it will cut down the distress by about 80 percent it will speed the labor up quite considerably and the post-birth um, syndrome that many ladies suffer from including the uh, uh, depression that postnatal post depression, depression yeah. is significantly less studies have shown that so if, well, if, one, if one were to go to Google and stress, put yeah. medical hypnosis into the search engines there's it would take you a hundred years to read all the scientific evidence so this yeah. has been uh, done to death scientifically and medically and, and proven to the point of uh, tedium that it's quite valid the only concerns are, and I'm very open to it I must admit particularly in childbirth and you know helping people relax during it the only thing that concerns me you know after seeing the stage shows is what if you then left the hypnotherapist and every time you heard a particular song play you'd strip your clothes off or bark like a dog or something if the hypnotherapist <laughs> hadn't if the hypnotist the stage hypnotist hadn't correctly removed the suggestion and brought the people out there's a slight chance for some people that that may happen but it's a very very misunderstood thing for example uh, hypnotists use the word sleep if somebody actually went into a biological sleep in hypnosis the hypnotist has failed dismally the the correct well, the best description I've ever heard of hypnosis is as a detached parallel awareness so you can actually become much more aware of what's going on around you but much less concerned about it uh, with the stage hypnotist you'll see them they'll go sleep wake up sleep yeah. wake up that's called fractionation so the first um, the first task someone's given it might be there's a five cent piece stuck there and you can't get it off and then it'll be sleep and they go Voomph. and
They're actually moving their reality testing out of their left brain into their right brain, and then by the time you've done that six or seven times, people literally will see spaceships flying around in rooms and aliens and, and that type of thing. I, I spend a lot of time training now, more so than doing therapy, and um, with students' permission in front of others, look, I've had them run off to banks and come back crying because the ATM won't give them $3,000. I've had uh, students try getting very angry because I refuse to accept their brand new car and won't go to the, the registry office to have it signed over, this kind of thing. But yeah. I, it, it's commonly uh, stated that we can't make anyone do anything ever in hypnosis. The correct terminology was we can make some people do some things in hypnosis. Mm. For, for, for so you've got, to be, you've got to be ready and willing to... You do, but one can use word patterns that will begin to induce trance in somebody without even realising it's happening. For practical use, like, like, like weight loss and smoking, is it, is it uh, advisable to go back for continued... It is. Yeah. Look, cigarette smoking especially, uh, people will fall off the wagon at three days, three weeks, three months or three years. The, the, That's the, my friend, yeah. The number three seems mm. to come into it. Now, a good hypnotist will put suggestion in that into the future, um, they will still find that that desire not to smoke remains with them, that type of thing, or say, come back in three months or six months or if you feel like having it. The amount of people mm. I get come to me and go, oh, we do hypnotherapist and it's a load of rubbish, it doesn't work, is uh, very annoying, actually. It's, yeah, uh, I bet it is, I bet it is. Look, I, I think there's certainly something in it, but it's lovely to talk to you. Thanks for coming in, Thanks, Rick. Rick. Thank you very much for having me. All right, more of him and Kim when we come back.